Hello everyone, today, today I want to talk to you about uh, the Python certification exam that I failed by one question. Um, I think it, starts, it stands for Python Certified Entry-Level Program or something like that. Uh, it's supposed to be an easy exam, but I still failed. So you can take the exam from home. Uh, uh, there is no proctors, it's really on your honor system. Uh, I happened to choose the newer exam, uh, PCEP-3002. Uh, maybe that's why I failed because I was practicing on Code Cloud and I was getting 80 to 85% on there. Uh, that particular exam, 30-01, is retiring uh, next month. So maybe that's why I failed because I was preparing for the wrong version. I'm not sure. I got a 66%, so 20 out of 30. I needed uh, 60, uh, 70%. So if I had, had one more uh, correct uh, answer, I would have passed, but it is what it is. Uh, Timing-wise, um, it's 40 minutes limit. I had six to seven minutes left to do, so time wasn't a problem. Uh, There's a lot of questions where you had to drag and drop to make one line, one line could work, so they would give you little pieces. Uh, there are two to three questions where you would drag and make something happen, like maybe in a try and try accept block or an if then if then else block, you would make that happen. Uh, there were three to four theory, no coding type questions. Um, there's a lot of those, uh, what would be the output of this code kind of question. They were complex, they were not easy. Um, definitely studied tuples. There were the two or three exam two or three questions about that. Um, uh, you, you had to know how to convert uh, input string to a float, a floating number, um, which functions you you can, you, you would be given several functions and which one of these could take two arguments, uh, that kind of thing. Um, they will give you a code and they will say which one of these will actually have a non-zero output. So you have to understand the code itself. Uh, definitely need to study the operator priority, you know, slash, uh, I mean, plus, minus, and divides, and you know, double stars and whatnot, which comes first, because you, you, you had to figure out what the answer would be based on that. Um, how you, you had to know how to delete from a list. And there were two questions about ranges. So. Anyway, um, I failed the exam by one, one, uh, one question. Hopefully next time I'll pass. Uh, but I still wanted you folks to have um, some idea what the question is like and the exam was like. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you next time.